What's going on, everyone? You're watching episode 42 of the Living Money Smart Vlog. If you don't know who I am, my name is Brandon Ballard. I'm the uh, video editor as well as the videographer for Matt Zappala. And I'd be hailing to you here from the Money Smart headquarters, hosting this episode of the Living Money Smart Vlog. As you may know, Matt and Sheena are out in Greece. So this episode is gonna be extremely special. I wanted to take this time to kind of show appreciation to Matt. Uh, this episode is gonna be geared more towards some testimonials of our leaders that got the chance to work with Matt, who he basically uh, changed their lives through entrepreneurship. What's going on everyone? This is Brandon Ballard. As I said before, I am the host of this episode of the Living Money Smart Vlog. I wanna ask you guys for two things. If you're watching this on Facebook, please give us a thumbs up on our business page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and click the notifications so you can get notified on our next episode as soon as it's uploaded. So with that being said, here we go, the start of episode 42. <laughs> So that's a two-part answer. Um, first of all, I'd say the biggest one is learn to keep your heart increasingly soft for people in spite of betrayals and adversity. The second one is as you continue to come climb up the success ladder, increasingly stay humble because he's a, a accomplished so many amazing things even in the industry that other people have not accomplished or it's taken him 20 times you know the the amount of time to do it he's done it so quickly but yet he's maintained his humility and his humor uh within all of that so i'd say those are the two biggest lessons um it, it's definitely never to settle for mediocrity uh I think very early on he poured belief into me, probably when I lost belief in myself. And then because of that, uh, I'm now an independent single mom uh, that, that has a business that's growing and, and I'm excited for that and I'm forever thankful for Matt for that. Oh man, the, the biggest lesson that I've learned about uh, working with Matt Tapala is you have to learn how to process issues. Uh, I mean, you have to push past your pain. Even when, when obstacles and things come up, you certainly have to stay focused, don't allow distractions to overtake you, and continue to focus on what your goal is. You know, the biggest lesson uh, from working with Matt is uh, knowing that I'm a leader, man. Knowing that, you know, uh, that I have a lot to pour into a lot of people. Matt gives you that identity. He wants you to know who you are uh, as a as a person, who you are either at work or in your industry or you know uh, in your career. But he's led me to believe. He allowed me to believe that I'm a leader and that I have a lot to pour into people because it's what he does to other people. He creates other big thinkers, other independent thinkers, other uh, you know people that that. That provide and pour into other people, and that that uh, you know that have uh, those leadership uh, qualities. So that's the biggest lesson to me: the knowing that I actually have a lot to pour into somebody. I got that all from Matt, and without him, I'd probably still be, um, you know, uh, thinking that I wasn't good enough at a job that I was definitely too good for. Um, what he taught me was a really big lesson: is it's okay to fail. So when we're in school, we're we're being taught that it's not okay to fail. And we'll look down upon because we do fail in life. But he taught us through entrepreneurship that it is okay to fail, but to fail fast. And how to process issues. Um, being an entrepreneur, he taught us how to process issues. And he always taught us about his life stories and what he went through and how he overcame it. And how he went through all those failures through the process. But because he was able to go through those things and go through it, he was able to lead and mentor a team as well. But now as we're growing as entrepreneurs, we're being able to self-develop and process issues faster and learning that it's okay to fail because it's gonna help us win them later on in life. And honestly, like when you see Michael Jordan and you see all the times he's failed and so many other successful people and seeing where they're at now, 
it's it's a, it's a great thing. You know, I think and we take it in a negative way, but when we realize that failure is actually great because it teaches us lessons beyond what we're going through right now, but later on, it really teaches us a lot. Oh, man. A hundred and fifty percent, absolutely. I mean, entrepreneurship, let me put it this way. Entrepreneurship is the one thing in my life that has allowed me to not only continue to increase my faith, my resilience, my vision, my tenacity, my humility, uh, my persistence, but it's also the one thing that's allowed me to continue to become the best version of me. So, absolutely. Yes, knowing what I know now, I honestly wish I would have known years ago. But everything happens in its own timing. Knowing what I know now, I'm so excited for becoming an entrepreneur. I'm so glad uh, for the day that Canon told me that this was my last day. And I made the decision that I no longer wanted to be a part of corporate. So at that moment, I was uh, introduced to PHP. And listen, that was the best day of my life. Why? Because of the environment, the culture, uh, the mentorship, the leadership. You don't get that in, in many other places. So I'm so excited that I became an entrepreneur at the right time, surrounded around the right people. Absolutely, all day long, man. Um, I was just having a conversation of what it would be like if I was still working uh, for somebody else, if I was still working at the big, sexy corporate company that I left and uh, you know, earning the salary that I was making there and just knowing that I was capped off, knowing that I was limited, uh, number one, in my abilities to uh, you know, how I work and, and, and telling me that I was in doing this right or that right so it changed my identity and then allowing myself to think bigger as an entrepreneur now uh, definitely knowing that I make the right choice in knowing who I am in my career and additionally uh, the income that I can make when it's all under my control and under my hands uh, that I'm not actually limited by anybody else so entrepreneurship is the way to go man and hey what's going on people of PHP I cannot wait to see you guys this August at the Builders event it's going down it's official I will be there in stone etched in stone you hear from me to you my face to your faces my face to your faces I see you soon August going down I feel like we're just headlining all over every industry Oh my goodness, it means a whole lot. Number one, because Kevin Hart is what's, he's what's happening right about now. Man. Uh, superstar, man, you know. Uh, you know, see, wave my check and savings account shut up, right? Uh, <laughs> no, but, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just a blessing, man, to, to think that you work for a company or you're part of a company, partner with a company that have someone of this magnitude um, you know, pouring into us on a, on, a, on a funny level, but on a real level, because he's a, he's such a great um, icon in the industry. But just you know, not just in comedy, but just you know, in business in America, it's uh, it's absolutely amazing. It tells me about uh, who our CEO is and the influence that he has, and with people and the connections that he makes. It tells us about having a mega superstar uh, coming out to do our show. It isn't just. Um, you know, the Blue Man Group or a couple other acts that you can catch any other Friday or any other Saturday here in Chicago. It is something amazing to have somebody like that. It tells me about the direction of the company and where it's going, where it's going to be in the next two, three, five, ten years. Uh, that right now is a, a, a very pivotal time uh, in our company to just have somebody uh, that's so big as Kevin Hart, man. The guy is a monster in business. I mean, he is, uh, he does everything. Uh, on the comedy side but you have to know who he is as a businessman and just to know that uh, he's pouring into us man it, ta it, it tells me that I'm in the right place at the right time with the right people in the right company and, and I'm so thankful and I can't wait man I'm excited to catch that cat Las Vegas August at the Venetian it's gonna be lit here's the wrap of episode 42 if it was my pleasure being the host for this episode again please remember to like our our business page on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification. With that being said, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. Yeah.